In this video, we load up the RV and drive halfway across the country to Denver, where Steph is pretty excited because we're going to the world-famous Red Rocks Amphitheater in Denver, Colorado. After that, we keep on heading west into the mountains and Breckenridge. What's up? Oh my gosh, you scared me. So how did you like Kansas City? Honestly, I really liked Kansas, Kansas City. I didn't actually expect to like it yeah. for some reason, but really cute town, yeah. lots of good food, um, yeah. good atmosphere, good bars. We went to a couple of good yeah. bars. And yeah, the weather, we weather's out. been great, yeah. yeah the so weather's been if you're interested nice. in Kansas City, check out a previous video, but we are packing up right now. We are gonna head, I don't know, we're just gonna drive west till I get tired. We're gonna make it to Denver in a few days, so I'm not sure where we're gonna end up tonight, but we're gonna head that way. And uh, get going, but what we got to do right now is pack up. So I've got leveling jacks on the front here uh, to help us get more level. And then I got to load up the motorcycle, so I got to pull forward and all that. So it'll take a minute to get all this loaded up. Got this thing trying to keep it from bouncing around as much as possible shifting around so i think that's okay that on there and we got the bikes up bike up front now i think it'll be a little better see how it goes we headed west out of kansas city and with a few stops along the way which we didn't film we headed to denver colorado We actually had a pretty hard time finding a place to park the RV. So, two things. Well, first off, what do you think of this lovely camper? And so two things, number one, well, three things. I thought there were hookups at this site. I guess I just didn't read the five print. Doesn't matter, we don't need it. Uh, but, so I did not fill up on water for the RV. So that's an issue. And then uh, the generator for this thing was really loud, so we had this other one for being running quiet. So I went and bought eight gallons of water, so we have a little bit of water to like, I don't know, shower maybe. And then of course fuel for the generator, because we haven't had that yet. So uh, I haven't even started this generator yet. We'll see if it works. Stop for a minute. Stop and breathe for a minute. Don't get over your head, try to listen instead. So this is a Westinghouse 4500 watt. It's supposed to be pretty quiet, only 58 decibels. I've not even tried to start it. I did put oil in it. So don't yell at me for that. I did connect the battery, right? My fault, I didn't connect the battery. I thought I did. Let's try it again. Now it should just start with the push button. That's cool, I mean, it's pretty quiet. And it says it'll run for 21 hours right now. And the cool thing is it's got a uh, 30 amp plug on it, so we can plug the RV right into it. It's a lot quieter than my other generator. And this one says it'll run for 13, gal 13 hours. But it's probably also charging the batteries and everything because we've had the power off to the unit for a while, so it'd be nice. So now then, so that we have water, I'm gonna go fill these up. I'm just putting on my belt. <laughs> so we are doing something that's been on Stephanie's bucket list for a while now. For my whole life! <laughs> what are we doing? We're going to Red Rocks. Yeah, so we have some friends in town. They're in an RV as well. Then they got an Airbnb for a couple days because they got some work to do here. So we're going to go meet up with them and then we are going to the world famous Red Rocks. I and I want to cry. I'm so freaking excited. It's this big like open air amphitheater type thing with like big rocks. You're it's red. just so freaking cool. Like it's yeah. just so cool. All right, well, let's get well, going. It's off my bucket list. We got to pick now. up the uh, Grubhub on the way. We headed over to our friend's Airbnb where we jumped in their car and drove to Red Rocks. I could cry, I'm so excited. <laughs> Go down to the, corner. the entertainment for the night was Father John Misty. 
That Turkish anchor is about the only thing left of me and you. Your head is always good, but you knocked me out. Well, we didn't really spend much time here. So this is Stadley Lake Park. It's probably the closest and least expensive place to Denver. Um, it's in Westminster, so just on the northwest side of Denver. We really just parked our RV here and went and hung out with our friends that have a place here, so. But Good place to stay, but they don't yeah. have any hookups. Yeah, no hookups, so I mean, that's why we were able to get a place here. I mean, Denver, generally speaking, you can't get an RV spot with anywhere within 30, 40 miles of it during the summer, um, unless like you're booking like months out. It's kind of sucks, yeah. but. But you can at this place, no hookups, and it's only pretty, you know, 15 minute ride into town. But uh, we're gonna hit the road and head to the mountains. You ready? All ready. Right, let's do it. Where are we going? Headed to Breckenridge. This thing is not exactly a uh, speed demon up the hill. Doing <laughs> 45 miles an hour, getting passed by everybody. What's that? Probably just red rocks right here somewhere, isn't it? Over there? That's it, uh, over there. Yeah, I think so. That's the amphitheater where we went the other day. Yeah, are we gonna drive through it? Uh, I don't know, I don't think so, but you can see it right over there. Right there. Yeah, we saw it was uh, Father John Misty. Yeah. Really good. You've actually probably heard one of his songs. I had heard it, but I didn't know who he was, but he was pretty good. A gas-powered vehicle towing a trailer up the mountains doesn't exactly do very well at 11,000 feet of altitude. downhill for seven miles. That'd be nice. Glad we're going downhill. So that was just over 11,000 feet that pass. This was not enjoying going up that hill. But no, I guarantee it. But we made it. I think the timber line's around 12,000 feet, something like that. That's where the trees, there's not enough oxygen for the trees to grow anymore up there. Or carp, whatever. It's not enough air for the trees to grow up there. I know they don't use oxygen. Hey, what you like it up here? I love it. So much. I love I love the mountains and the outdoors. Feels so good to be here. Excited. First time. First time. So excited to be here. It's so beautiful. And this actual RV park is really nice as well. We are at Tiger Run RV. It's a pretty nice little place. I think like a lot of people like own the sites so there's, and there's they build like stuff on them. sites where there's like a little cabin that yeah. has like a fireplace and like maybe a little hangout for like um, storage and stuff. So they have that or they have the pull throughs like which one yeah. in. That but are pretty like, much just like some trees. So the ones over there have little houses and storage and yeah, cabanas really nice. and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. And they also have regular cabins. Yeah. You can rent them for a week or so, or you can actually buy one. Yeah. And then when you're not here, rent it out. We got two nights here in this spot, and then we have to move to another spot for two nights. We got four we're nights here total. Like right there. Yeah, like so right we're literally there. just gonna pick all our stuff up when, as soon as those people leave and move, and move it over slowly. We also got a new Pedigo for Burning Man, but also for me because. Well, we before we even had the Ural, what we would do is he would ride and then I'd sit on the back of this, like, like E.T., kind of. But now me and him can ride together. And we also have the Ural. Our main, our main concern with the bikes though is, uh, is where to put them. So I'm gonna build a little platform. I'll do that tomorrow. We're gonna build a platform on the trailer to store the bikes. Just about finished with it. I gotta put the eye bolts in here for tie downs and then put a bike up there and put some like braces for the wheels to stay in. But so we didn't have enough room down low because we have the generator down here and other stuff. So raise this up, the generator can go underneath and we can put the bikes on top and ratchet strap them. Woohoo! After two nights, we moved over to our next RV spot, which was quite nice. Loaded up on the motorcycle and headed to downtown Breckenridge. Welcome to Breckenridge! Let's go! Cheers! 
right, nice little lunch at Ollie's, and now right across the street is there's an art festival. You said. Mm -hmm. well, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't it's rain. Closed. It's gonna be rain. It's supposed to rain here in a little bit. So it's thundering. Woo. Yeah, last few days have been really hot during the day, but now it's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm wearing. Oh, it just hit my head. Summer in the mountains of Colorado is one of my favorite places to be. Honey! Honey for my honey. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we got some propolis honey. It's good for burns, immunity, um, a lot of... Uh, the ancient Egyptians used it, that's what they say. So, and also some soap, it smells really good. I didn't get myself one, but these are gifts. Smell it, mmm, you guys smell it? It's crazy, right? Thank you so much for watching. Please do us a favor and click that subscribe button. It really helps us out. We have a lot of new content coming to you and I don't want you to miss it.